the first poet we have chosen to discuss for this topic feminist poetry is Maya Angelou. You can understand the reason. One of the best poets, one of the most popular poets, one of the most remarkable women of 20th century, born in 1928 and who died in 2008. First, we will see the historical and literary context, then we will see her life briefly, focus on the two aspects which really made the woman self esteem and self expression, discuss two poems phenomenal woman and still I rise, we will analyze them and then finally, give importance to two concepts self acceptance and celebration which are very important for everybody not only for women. Here we have the historical and literary context. Maya Angelou was born in this time the great depression of 1929 and she had this opportunity of watching this Harlem renaissance in the 1920s. The magazine of this Harlem renaissance is called crisis which promoted African American and their writings. Harlem Writers Guild was established in 1950 of which Maya Angelou became a member later on. She witnessed this black arts movement and the magazine called Freedom Ways published in 1961 and continued up to 1985. Angelou had the chance of participating in this civil rights movement held from 1954 to 1968. In fact, Maya Angelou organized several activities for Macomb X and also for Martin Luther King. At this time, we also witness this anti-war movement from 1964 to 1973. A culturally significant event took place when Robert Frost read this inaugural poem in 1961 for President Kennedy. We have this distinction between mainstream and African American literature. This African American literature is represented by slave narratives and African American narratives. We have two autobiographies and two poems here, Booker T. Washington's autobiography Up From Slavery 1901, Richard Wright's autobiography Black Boy in 1945. And two poems, one Paul Lawrence Dunbar's poem Sympathy and another one Georgia Douglas Johnson's poem The Heart of Human. These two poems are important for Maya Angelou because these two poems gave two titles for her famous autobiographies. I know why the caged bird sings from Sympathy and The Heart of a Woman from Johnson's poem. Let us see the life of Maya Angelou now. She was born Margaret Annie Johnson, but she lived Maya Angelou throughout her life and she got this name Angelou from her first husband's surname Angelos. She dropped yes and added you on the advice of her will wishes. She married twice, but found her own ways in life. Her life was an incredible journey from a muted woman to a vocal poet. She joined forces with Macomb X and Martin Luther King Jr. during the civil rights movement. She was a poet, autobiographer, essayist, performer, producer and lecturer and many other forms she took in her life. Maya Angelou, this MA can be understood as motivation and achievement put together. She was motivated enough to achieve all that she got in her life. We have a very important woman in her life, Mrs. Flowers, who read some passages from her library and turned this Margaret into a poet. Later on, when she was a popular woman, Mr. Clinton transformed her into a national poet in 1993 by asking her to recite this poem, this inaugural poem on the pulse of morning. Maya Angelou was the second poet after Robert Frost to have this privilege of reading an inaugural poem. That is why we referred to Robert Frost earlier in the historical and literary context. What motivated Maya Angelou to become the woman she became? 
self esteem and self expression these are the two keys to understand the personality of Maya Angelou. She had some good mentors like James Baldwin and Robert Loomis who challenged her to write her own autobiography. Initially she started with I know why the caged bird sings in 1969. Later on she came out with many volumes about her own life. These were well received by the public and critics. She also wrote five volumes of poetry and Still I Rise is a third volume published in 1978 which has number of famous poems including The Phenomenal Woman and Still I Rise. These poems became much more popular when she performed these poems on stage in front of audience. These are available on YouTube. Please search for My Angelo and her poems. You will see the videos and you must watch My Angelo's performance to understand the spirit of the woman. We have some background information for these two poems Phenomenal Woman and Still I Rise. Phenomenal Woman is a dramatic poem. There is an address between a man and a woman. It is written in the form of a free verse. We have four verse paragraphs and 60 lines. This has a power which can be called recitative or mnemonic power and the whole poem is all about feminist self assertion. The second poem Still I Rise is lyrical. It is celebratory and self assertive. It has 10 quatrains and also 3 other lines. That is why we call it 10 quatrains plus. We have the celebration of the rise of women in this poem. The whole poem deals with the racial and gender identity. How a woman could rise and rise in spite of all the odds against her. First we will deal with phenomenal woman. We are not able to read the whole poem because of copyright reasons. We have given the source to Poetry Foundation. We can find this poem in the text not an anthology of poetry as well. This poem deals with the concept of beauty. So she describes the difference between beautiful women and not so beautiful women. And how do this not so beautiful women get their power that is a whole poem. So we initially we have this discussion on how beautiful women may wonder about the secret of power and success in the speaker and so she explains. She says I say, I say, I say in this poem it is a kind of declaration we find this declaration and assertion in all the four stanzas. She says about her arms, hips, step, lips and all that. These are all her physical features which have contributed to her strength. And so she says I am a woman phenomenally, phenomenal woman that is me. These four lines are a kind of refrain we find in all the four stanzas. I say is repeated similarly I am a woman phenomenally, phenomenal woman that is me she repeats in all the four stanzas. We have summarized one stanza here from lines 14 to 20. She talks about moving into a room. When she moves into a room she is surrounded by men like a bee of hives. That means there is some attraction in her that is why men gather around her and in the second uh, section that is from lines 30 to 36 she tries to explain some inner mystery in her but men cannot understand it, men cannot see it nor touch it. That is why she celebrates her difference, her unique feature or her unique intelligence or whatever she has inside. Then we come to the fourth stanza where in lines 52 to 56 she explains her mysterious source of her power which is in her walk, in her hair, in her palm and in her care. She has thus showcased the power of being a woman, a tall, skinny and gap toothed black woman. Actually initially she was a bit upset about her own personality but later on she overcame all these difficulties of being a tall, skinny and gap toothed woman, finally became a phenomenal woman. 
and this could happen to any woman for that matter that is why she sings cause I am a woman phenomenally phenomenal woman that is me. Now, let us see the thematic contrast between unpretty women and pretty women. Pretty women feel happy about themselves and they wonder when unpretty women become successful and the whole poem is a kind of explanation of an unpretty woman to all pretty women. There is a lie and also truth a woman and man ordinary and phenomenal an outer appearance and inner mystery and this whole poem deals with that kind of inner mystery of course, through this outer appearance. This outer appearance is in the body and the inner mystery is in the soul and this soul and this inner self has to exemplify that kind of self respect omitting or disregarding the self suspect that may be imposed on her and then only she can achieve success and what of failure in her life. This woman I is successful against you not only men here she includes women also beautiful women who may be a kind of hindrance for unpretty women or ugly women. The whole poem is an assertion against discrimination and oppression both by men and also by beautiful women that is a beautiful aspect of this poem. We have a number of poetic devices in this poem many words are repeated words phrases lines we refer to I say and the refrain phenomenal woman. We have common words in the whole poem nothing is strange in this poem. The last four lines in each stanza are considered to be refrain and we have assonance in these two lines, but when I start to tell them it is in the click of my heels we have highlighted those sounds which form this assonance when that is a and in or e in the second line. We have alliteration in the stride of my steps metaphor in then they swam around me a hive of honey bees. Again we have another metaphor in fire in my eyes honey bee and sun. We also have personification in the joy in my feet. She concretizes her joy which is found in her own feet. We have anaphora I say it begins the declarations then we have pun plus metaphor in the sun of my smile. My Angelo had a son even before she was married and this son was very precious for her the son of my smile could be this son and also this actual son which gives light for all of us. We have four stanzas in this poem they are unequal in line lengths, but totally we have 60 lines. Some of them are short lines and some of them are as long as 6 levels nothing more. We have occasional rhymes in this poem we have listed those words hips, lips, please, knees, bees, teeth, feet, much, touch, smile, style. The rhythm we find in this extract we have here is I am an anapest. In the whole of the poem we have many other kinds of rhythm as well like trochee and spondy. Therefore, we call this meter of this poem polymetrical. We have some enjambment and end stop lines in this passage. I say it is in the click of my heels, the bend of my hair, the palm of my hand, the need for my care. If you watch my Angelo performing you will see her jumping and moving and still rising as a phenomenal woman. To give an overall impression of this poem my Angelo realized that she was a phenomenal woman and proved it in her life and her writings especially in this poem on phenomenal woman. She understood what she could achieve with her physical features arms, hips, lips, eyes, teeth, waist, feet, back, breast, smile, style, heel, hair, hand and care. In this context we may refer to Lupita Nyong'o's speech essence of beauty. 
this is also available on youtube please watch it and compare the two that is one is a poem another is an actual speech the essence of beauty is inside not outside my angela became a singer a dancer an actor a writer a reporter an editor a manager a secretary an organizer and many more roles she played in her life although she was unpretty skinny tall gap toothed being a woman or a black woman or a poor woman is not a limitation it is an opportunity to transform oneself into a great human being a phenomenal woman as a phenomenal poet she has mastered the art of poetry by using language poetically through the poetic devices and the rhythmic devices we have in this poem let's see the second poem now still i rise again we are not able to read the whole poem for copyright reasons we have given the link here we can again see the same poem in our textbook you may write me down in history with your bitter twist of lies you may trod me in the very dirt but still like dust i rise but still like dust i'll rise we have some summary of this poem here fears and terrors are there to be overcome not to be afraid of really the daybreak is an inspiration for the poet to rise again and again every day she transmutes herself into a symbol of hope for her whole race even for all kinds of marginalized people and that's why she says i am the dream and the hope of the slave i rise i rise i rise we have the thematic contrast between rise and fall truth and lie courage and cowardice riches and poverty black and white glory and shame love and hate fear and hope slavery and freedom dream and reality these are gaps it is for the individual to bridge the gap the moment you fall if you accept your fall you cannot do anything at with every fall one has to rise that's what my angela has done in her life and that's why she has written this poem whatever may happen to me still i will rise we can see some poetic devices in this poem catechism is the most dominant one in this poem that means a list of questions and answers my angelo ask questions and then gives answers these questions are addressed to men people in power and then she responds to these questions as a woman with some sense of power that's why we refer to these voices male and female voices the question is like this did you want me to be broken answer is but still like here i will rise this is only one question and answer we have many like this in the poem then we have a simile just like moons and like suns with the certainty of tides just like hopes springing high still i will rise then metaphor you may shoot me with your words words are like bullets and this communication or speech is like shooting between a man and a woman that's why kind words can save people harsh words can kill people particularly people in difficult situations we have this memorable image of the phoenix at the background always rising we have one specific rhetorical figure called tricolon that is repetition of i rise i rise i rise at the end three times let's see the rhyme rhythm and meter in this poem we have some occasional rhymes in these 43 lines some of the words are lies rise gloom room ice cries hard backyard wide tide fear clear gave slave the word rise is repeated 10 times in this poem adding power to this rising feeling of the poet and the speaker on the whole we can say the poem has iambic tetrameter or trochaic trimeter but this is a combination we have cesura in german and in stop lines in you may write me down in history with your bitter twist of lies you may trod me in the very dirt but still like dust i will rise we have shown this in german with that arrow mark and indicated the number of syllables feet 
in brackets in the second line you have here we have some extra syllable that is why we have put it 3 plus to give an overall impression rising against odds is a key to achievement for all the oppressed and marginalized people. No historical lies and oppressed situations will prevent the speaker from rising. She will rise like the sun, the moon, the tides, whatever the days and season may be. No insult, no shame and no hate can put her down. She has plenty of pride, courage, confidence and wealth to rise out of her slavery. The speaker actively engages with the oppressor in a catechistic style of question and answer. The poem adds power with a tri and tetrameter in various measures like I am and tracky and anapest. Now let us have the summary of this discussion. We discussed the historical and literary context in which Maya Angelou lived and wrote her poems. She was able to imbibe all kinds of self-esteem and self-expression in her poetry, in her autobiography and write famous poems like Phenomenal Woman and Still I Rise. We were not able to read the two poems fully because of copyright reasons and we have given the links for you and you can collect the poems and read them yourself. We emphasized self-acceptance and celebration in the discussions of these two poems. First of all, we have to accept what we are, who we are, where we are, why we are here like this and then we can find causes for celebration. There is no life without limitations, but every life has enough opportunities for overcoming these limitations. Let us rise and become phenomenal people. Here are some references, hope you will further see many such references and help yourself. Thank you.